Welcome back. As we mentioned in the first video, we cover a broad range of topics in the book and we teach it to first year master's students. But certainly the material would be accessible to a senior undergraduate and we can see this book being a useful complement to a senior design or capstone course where students are doing independent projects. Absolutely. And we also see this book appealing to working professionals. For example, if a new project comes up and someone needs to get up to speed quickly on FPGAs, this book should help. In fact, we designed every chapter to have two parts. The white pages focuses on science and principles. The gray pages talk about the current technology and step-by-step -step details. For teachers, we have ancillary materials on the Margaret Kaufman website, including overhead slides that correspond to the book chapters. Overall, the book is organized into seven chapters. The introduction covers three main questions. First, what is an embedded system? Second, what design challenges do embedded system developers face? And third, how do platform FPGAs help? In the gray pages, we walk the reader through vendor-supplied graphical tools. We also show how to build a simple processor memory system, and we write the obligatory Hello World application. And next, we start from the ground up and describe the generic modern field programmable gate array in Chapter 2. And in the gray pages, we describe the Vertex 5 device specifically. We also show how to, how to use the command line tools to synthesize a hardware design. And in Chapter 3, we hit the real meat of the text. We call this chapter System Design. And this is where we talk about what makes for a good design and introduce formal representation of a software reference design. Throughout the rest of the text, we assume the system starts as a software prototype. This provides a specification and it gives us the ability to collect quantitative performance information that guides the FPGA design. Chapter 3 is also a review of architecture of typical hardware and software found in embedded systems since most platform FPGA designs will use this as a base that will then be customized later. We introduced the Xilinx Embedded Development Kit. The soft, this software contains library of existing hardware cores and tools to assemble base systems. This inc we, also use, we also describe how to cross-compile a GNU Linux-based system. This includes the organization of file system, how to create cross-development tools, and how to cross-compile the Linux operating system. This chapter also ends with a Hello World program, except this time we boot Linux first log in, and run the application from the shell. The remaining chapters go into more advanced topics, which we'll briefly cover here. In chapter four, we talk about partitioning the software reference design into hardware and software components, and introduce simple kernel modules to implement device drivers. And in chapter five, we talk about how to look for parallelism in the software reference design, and how to exploit that parallelism in the hardware. In chapter six, we talk about managing bandwidth the bandwidth coming from external devices, and the bandwidth between off-chip RAM and computational units. The gray pages also describe an interface to a RAM controller and introduce a helpful debugging tool called ChipScope. And finally, in Chapter 7, we wrap up the book talking about in interfacing to the outside world. This includes low-speed direct communication protocols, basic internet protocol networking, and some discussion of some of the standard protocols such as DHCP and SNMP. These are protocols that embedded system designers might run into in the future. So there it is in a nutshell, our book. Like Ron said at the very beginning, this is our first book and we hope you find it useful. It may not be perfect, but we've done our best to make sure the examples don't have too many typos. And we're already thinking about the second edition and how we can make it better. We always welcome any feedback. Thank you very much for watching our introductory videos.